Hi, this is Reese from Code Consortium, and here with another ANSI C video tutorial. This first line, I will explain what that does. I'll explain what this bit does later, but for now, we'll just look at this. Printf is part of the STDIO library, and it prints formatted text to the console. So in this case, it prints this is what we call a string, and we put strings in quotes. And what a string is is a big collection of characters. So it will output this to the uh, console, and this here is what's called an escape character. Although we have to type two characters to put it in, when it's compiled, it's actually compiled as one character. And this backslash n is a very special character. And what it does is it tells the uh, it, it tells the command line to put in a new line so that we get a blank line and then we put return 0 which basically tells the program to, to, to it exit normally, it had normal exit status now I'm going to show you some very basic data types to use with NCC when you're working in C you need to always make sure that you declare all your variables at the top if you declare them anywhere else, you'll have a problem. It won't compile successfully. And what I mean by this is we need a place to store something like information such as a name. So if we put character and then we put name like so, we can put my name in here and now a place in memory will be allocated with the name name and it will have this bit of text in it so it's a useful way to store information in your programs next we can put int age I'm going to put my real age, I'm just going to put 20 for now and then here what we can do is we can put my name is and then we can tell it to put in a string and my age is and we can tell it to put in an int so this char is also what can be called as a string because of these special square brackets which I'll explain later on if you don't include these square brackets this is just a char if you include them then it's basically a string this is an integer and an integer if you remember your maths from uh, your secondary school or high school then an integer is a whole number so it's a number without any decimal places so age is a whole number it has no decimal places so in this case it's 20 so <clears throat> now because we've specified that there should be a string the first thing that it expects after this is a comma and the string you want to reference so I'm going to put name and then the second thing that it expects here is this integer so I'm going to put here age so it, when it's looking at this string and it's analyzing it it's seeing that there's a string expected so it expects that first then it sees that there's an integer expected and it expects that secondly so I'm going to save that I'm going to go back to the command line I'm going to remove the old test binary I'm going to compile it Let's give it a new name. Let's call it my app this time and specify the same file, of course, test.c. Do that. And now when we run my app, it says, Hello world, my name is Reese and my age is 20. Of course, this, as part of the command line, is directly on the end of this line here and we don't want that. So, what we can do is go back to our text set and we can type just here we can do the same thing we've done here we can create a new line and we can create another new line like so so we save that go back here let's remove my app again uh, okay compile it again and then we can run it and now let's put it on a new line so some very basic things, I'm not going to go into too much detail for this video, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet, just basically getting you set up with the correct tools that you need and the text editor, um, 
and I hope that you'll check out part 3 and explain data types and properly formatting strings for uh, for output so it'll be more use of printf I'm going to teach you some input and so you can read from the command line and I'm going to explain different data types that you can use so tune in for that and thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching be sure to check regularly for the next video in the series of NCC tutorials. For further discussion on programming, visit the forum on codeconsortium.com where you can post your questions and advice. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. See you next time.